Can I pet you? Hey. Can I pet you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, sweetie. Hey. Silly kitten. Okay, anyways, let's go play some Doom, right? I have to go torment my cat. My kitty. Yeah, okay. I was playing a little bit of this last night and I got rid of the video though, but I'm gonna play it today. What is it called? It's called Avocator with Doom for Doom. Cause this shit is legit. Yeah. It's actually a good map set. I should probably have my cell phone at the ready. So I can be like watch chat. Read chat. You will be worse. With the terror, until it is done. With the terror. I don't want it for anything. These guys. Oh, YouTube's updating on my phone. Why? Oh, it's not a big, big update. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't want you to update. Fucking did it without my permission. Can I, like, hurry up? Me too, please. Uh, that's a nightmare. 
Fast, extremely damaging, and aggressive monsters not cure defeatable Mr. Metal. What skill is this? Oh, so this is like uh, ultra violence? I want to make sure that you're not going to respawn. opened up yet. So I just cut my foot open, so that's fun. <laughs> what a great time it was! Okay, at the moment I don't see anything. Anyways. I'm going to trust ultraviolence is actually ultraviolence. Because I don't want respawning enemies. I'm good. I'm not about that life right now. Besides, I got colorful enemies on. So I don't need any more bullshit. Right, this part. Uh, from what I remember last night, just follow the auto map. I have the colorblind filter off. It's mainly for you guys. It doesn't change anything for me. I'm still flood line at the end of the day. So, shit will be near impossible for me to see. Cat, please. Don't make me put you in your cage. Go play with that. I don't have any grenades. Good. So once you reach the end of this little thing, oh. Porn? What porn? It's full of a uh, Dropbox crap. Or my projects and whatnot. And my old videos. I'm, my videos, like, they're just raw footage. So they take up so much space of this crap hard drive. I'm gonna invest in a better hard drive. Because uh, what I did was I used to backlog a lot of videos. It's just like, fuck, dude. It just eats all my space. Oh, nothing in there. Kitten, I'm going to eat you. Stop eating the cord, please. I'm going to put you in your cage. Stop it. Here. Oh, I, I do that, but like I had a huge stockpile of videos. I'm like a pack rat when it comes to my files. Let me just go deal with my cat, because he's eating my, my mouse board. There we go. I'm just kind of thinking I just might just stop recording my videos. I find streams 
see me more engaging, I guess. And when I'm done streaming my videos, they, they go up on YouTube as if it's a regular video. It was a win-win situation at this point. Yeah, pretty much. I just got this mouse. I don't want to... My kitten to eat board. It's not good strats. Wouldn't recommend. I've already had bad mice trouble in the past. I don't need my little guy to continue the trend. So I might uh, end up redoing, or I have been redoing, but I might make uh, Simply Hard a little bit more fast paced. Like a proper quick melee and whatnot. So I'm still gonna have my classes and whatnot, but like, I don't know. I wanna have like a robust uh, leveling system. Like let's just say I made my class or our class is a little weaker than vanilla, like I'm talking spread-wise. And the more that you use your weapon, the more proficiency you get, so slightly faster reload, uh, or spammy weapons. Uh, you have less recoil, vertical recoil. Oh, no, that's good. I'm thinking of ideas, I'm not going through with them yet. And I might have a weapon system in Simply Hard that you can actually exchange your weapons. So let's just say, hey, I got bored of board of my pistol for now, I'll, and you find, happen to find a revolver laying on the ground somewhere, or one of the enemies drop it. You can actually switch out your starting pistol for it, if you so desire. That's like medium. I always like the ideas of your player slowly getting stronger. Friend, That's my allergy meds, but they're not working. Can't wait for that dude to turn into a hole. I'm so hyped. Hyped for it. I do still want to complete Doom 2016 on Ultra Nightmare. It's so damn hard. All because I don't hear the Baron or Hell Knight stomping up behind me, then he gives me a surprise butt touch. And then everything goes completely tits up. Wait, when did I get a grenade though? Red pinkies though. They're like, they're so tanky. Ah! Oh, 
All right, Judy. See you later. Sniff, 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 for sniffles. I never asked for this. Yeah, I'll take my invincibility in a second. frag grenade. How do I get the other grenade? You know, the good grenades. What I do need though is... Ama. Armor. How am I supposed to get armor? The game doesn't even drop me. <clears throat> Assume that opens up later. Yeah. So unfortunately, at the moment, I got all the secrets. Oh, there's some armor. The heck? Super shotgun. I want it. Ooh. Yeah, get that later when I come back. All right. <clears throat> well, I now know my objective. Destroy this one, and then I uh, guess. Maybe chance off me. So let's just take on the uh, horde here and grab the invincibility. <laughs> What is this song, dude? The music goes on for 30 seconds longer.
There's nothing in here. What the heck? Man, does this ever lag my computer? This is looking like this. With a fancy fl flashlight on. Thanks for the... I'm going to assume the uh, other grenades are random. Oh. <clears throat> I didn't even get to uh, change my equipment. Here's the options now. Oh, it's X and Z. Okay. I only have frag. Buy the credit upgrade. <clears throat> Cause I never learn, do I? Ooh, armor. That's actually good. I'm happy with that. Nope. I would have been slightly upset if they would have hit me. <clears throat> Hey, super shotgun's available now. I do want to upgrade my super shotgun. I think I have to go back. I know exactly where I have to go, actually. It's down here. Anyone got any tips for allergies? How to deal with them? And my suffering, probably. It's mainly just the runny nose now. It's like a fucking faucet. I'm going to blow my nose a hundred times, and fair enough. It's back. 
that's like the most annoying thing. I, I'm pretty sure some of you, if not a lot of you, exactly know what I'm under. Thank you. No! No! Are you kidding me? I ran over the thing and I didn't pick up the rune? No. That's depressing. I was doing so well, man. Oh wow, I'm starting to remember this off by heart. Is that an orange one? Or a red tier enemy? that time. What the heck? Oh. oh no. I feel for you, man. It's not fun. There's a bunch of forest fires up where I was and it was real bad. Basically we have an air quality filter or like a measuring system. Uh, zero being the best quality, like, you know, sunny weather, nothing, nothing in the air, no pollution or whatever. Ten being the worst. Well, on a day-to-day -day basis, I should say. And the last couple of days, the air quality has been eight, nine, and two days ago, uh, it's been ten. And uh, I thought the, after the rain, the, the uh, s smoke from the forest fires down in Calgary would be, like, gone. So, I had my window open, and then I, I got a serious infection and whatnot. Oh, brutal. I think out of the, like, if you were to get a cold or any kind of infection, I think the worst thing for me is having a runny nose. I can deal with a sore throat, <clears throat> I can deal with a chest cold and coughing, but the runny nose, oh, I hate it. It's the worst. It's irritating. I hate sniffling all the time. Always constantly sneezing. Not fun. It doesn't have, help that I have a little kit in here. Poor guy was homeless. And I just took him in because nobody wanted him. No, I adopted him. Well, actually, he adopted me, I should say. Because I had no intentions on getting a cat until I saw him. Neighbors did a midnight move and just abandoned his little little kitten. The first night I just, I just brought him back to his uh, litter, his mum. And the next day I go outside and there he is crawling underneath the fence again coming right towards me. So I kept him. Yeah, it's it's real bad here. There's forest fires in BC and all over. And when I woke up this morning, I actually have a picture of it. I can pull it up on stream. Uh, this the sky was like orange, like real orange. No, that's not the one. The camera uploads.
Yeah, this. This was like 6 in the morning. Because normally the sky is supposed to be great, but that's all forest fire smoke just outside town. Oh, look at that shit, dude. <laughs> that's horrendous. <laughs> <coughs> And I had my window open that day. And I didn't think much of it. It's like, oh, clearly the forest fires would be gone a week after, right? No. Good job, me. I'm, I'm good at this. You know, I, I kind of like the idea of the color tier enemies, but Jesus Christ, some of them are just absurd. It's being backpacks. Hmm. Pretty much. Uh, I live in Edmonton. That's like a three hour drive from Calgary. Calgary's the south of us. Uh, but, Jesus. There's so many for forest fires right down near Calgary because that's where a lot of the trees are and whatnot. And, uh,. Each summer, it seems to get worse and worse because the temperatures are getting hotter and hotter. Is that a red emperor in there or is that a purple one? Speaking of hell on earth though, Doom Eternal. Oh, I want it! I was blown away with the presentation of it. I'm gonna probably blow my nose in a sec here. Oh no, it's another red mancubi. Like, I like the idea of colored enemies, but, like, I kind of wish their enemies' health didn't double each tier. It's a little ridiculous. That's the issue I had with, uh, Colorful Hell. Was, uh, pretty much in vanilla, it was impossible to play in vanilla. Because a lot of, en uh, a lot of, uh... A lot of the uh, ammo spawns didn't couldn't accumulate our account for the rainbow tier of enemies. And the thing is, in the, this mod, colorful enemies don't grant you or net you anything. Yeah, for sure. I didn't hate Doom 2016, but I will admit the one thing I really thought held it back for me was the arenas. Like, I think uh, level 2 is a good example. Or level level 1. Level 2 mainly because it seems like uh, the in-between areas had more going on with them. Until you until you went to the arenas and that's where the main action went. But oh. They got really carried away. I think after the first hell level, it's just like, okay, you get like one minute of walking, and then you get taken to another arena, fight there for about five, ten minutes. You know, another two minutes of walking, maybe one minute, with the odd enemy screwing around here, and then back to another five, ten minutes of walking. It's just non stop halfway through the game. That's what I hated. Yeah. That's another issue I really disliked about Doom 2016, was the fact that there could only be 12 enemies on screen at once. And that's also what held Snap Mac. Snap Mac back. Like, you can make some really elaborate things, but... 
the 12 enemy limits to the content versions. Just really killed it for me. Never mind the limitations in general. <clears throat> I'm all, all for cross-platform play, don't get me wrong, but... When I feel like something is being held back... Uh, no thank you. Especially to such a degree. Because <clears throat> I had a situation where I could actually spawn a bunch of enemies and... I could handle about 32 barons on screen. To spawn a bunch of enemies and I had like a... I had like a cheat table that let me have uh, bodies like stay on the ground after you kill them. Of course after a while we start lagging like that, but still. The idea of my PC being able to render that was pretty good. And this is just a regular 1080, um, GTX 1080, it's not even a 1080 Ti. And everyone's all about the RTX. 2080 or whatever. I'm gonna go blow my nose, I'll be right back. Yeah, for sure. Oh, that's delicious. Truthfully though, um... I wouldn't have kind of minded if the level design was more like Serious Sam, I guess. Well, maybe not Serious Sam in general, but like... You know, hordes of enemies coming at you in the end game. Any of your weapons. Because it, with Serious Sam, you had more of the classic linear kind of thing. I kind of like the non-linear theme games, of course. But... I, I just never was a fan of the huge fight in the, fight in the deathmatch arena. It overstayed its welcome. It's still a fun game, don't get me wrong. But... <clears throat> That's where I go to Snap Map because people make a lot of classic looking up. Oh. No. You know what I mean. Yeah. I don't hate Lloyd Kills, but after you've seen the cutscenes enough times, it gets a little annoying. Like, what I've been doing here is just punching... Oh, fuck. Bad example. I would try and punch them out just out of range, but I would just hit them without going to the animation. Damn it. I go and try and throw off the thing and I can't do it. Yeah, like that. I'd just rather just punch them normally and just have them just explode. I would like to do some co-op though for the Doom Eternal, like some actual co-op. Even if I was dressed up like one of the multiplayer marines, I 
be okay with that and have the main players of the Doom Slayer. But I think they're just gonna have the they're just gonna sell it as a single player experience where they're gonna have the Dark Souls shit. Where you can only play as monsters in the game and have just the one Doom Slayer. But what would be pretty neat though, I know they won't do it. Like if uh if there was co-op and you could join as multiple Doom Slayers, just like have the four marine colors from the classic Doom. Like you got the green one, the red one, brown one, and gray one. I think that would be a neat touch. The one thing I I think that's the one thing I really hate about Brutal doing for sure is uh they have that overemphasis on the glory kills and those animations are real slow. They're painfully slow. I mean I stop like the Brutal game. The people like it more power to them they're seeing you're doing something I cannot. I'd rather stick with the one these days, in most cases. But in this case, I don't mind uh, Doom for Doom. They have a slight upgrade angle on the shop here. Suit. I want more credit. Spawn. There we go. These credits are good. Been a purple imp because if those were red, you would have taken a lot more rockets. Could be red, I wouldn't know. I'm colorblind. Oh, yeah, my favorite section of the map. Not really. Is such a mess. I still won't get that secret. There's like. Excuse me. I what? Was that secret room my crusher? Wow, oh, how how irritating. I was hoping to uh, make progress. And then I get fucked over because I didn't even realize that secret area was a trap. All for rockets, by the way. Which I could have just used the chainsaw and call it a day. How annoying. Knock them down. Yep. Hi. 
a normal one, good. <clears throat> I actually might make my mod uh, simply hard uh, co-op compatible, not co-op compatible, fuck, heretic compatible. One thing I really wish, though, about myself is I wish I could see like blue colors, because for me this texture right here, here I'll show you. I'll put on the colorblind simulator. It makes the color so much darker. So basically, this is what I see. Like I can't see green. I can't see yellow. Everything's just like a pink and a blue color. Driving made, made this filter for me. Just like colorblind awareness, that's what I need basically doing. And the thing is, uh, red green colorblind people have uh, in chroma glasses through red green glasses that helps them adjust their colors. I don't have something like that because those glasses do not work with me. Because I'm blue yellow color blind, not red green. Now this enemy, I'll let you be the judge. To me he looks red. He's always looked red because I can't see purple. Uh, but I'll turn this off and either he'll look pink to you or prop to you, or he'll actually be good. I, I'll have no idea. Judging by how strong he is, he seems to be red to me. Which is one above or or he's another odd color for me to see. It's like a beast sad to really cool. Yeah, this has gotta be a red enemy. He's really tough. Kicking my ass here. Yeah, this is what I mean. I told I was totally convinced I was actually red because he took a lot, of, a lot more shots than I'm used to. But that's the difficulty modifier for you. If I had it like on the vanilla enemy tier, I wouldn't be having any issues. Ow. Can I actually turn that off actually the glory kill settings? Let's see. Glory kill animation, so oh, cool. So I guess I can just go up to them and just punch them off and see. Oh, okay, that's a lot better. <laughs> I can actually probably turn it off, but I need the drops for you. <clears throat> I 
I would say that in this, in my color by mode, I would think that this enemy is blue. It's actually green, because the blue one's actually almost like black to me. Almost, but not quite. I wonder what those carrion items are, the red things that fly towards you. Someone said it's a multiplayer weapon, but I've yet to see this multiplayer weapon actually drop. So much. Shit, so it's overpowered. I like how the this thing so you can actually just use the primary fire as a melee. And the whole fire is what gives you ammo. What the heck? My secondary fire gives me a little light. Excuse me. Why? What's the difference? It's like no sense. Yeah, that one, that one has to be purple, right? Oh, nice. I got a burst rifle, which is actually pretty strong. I think the main weapon I didn't like from Doom 2016 would be the, uh, the Heavy Assault Rifle. In this mod, uh, they changed up the use of the Burst Rifle. They've actually made the old fire actually, like, uh, shoot out of a flame projectile that has lingering damage. And just melts enemies. It has a high uh, ammo consumption, though. <sighs> I am still gonna stick with my guns though and invest in uh, creative upgrades so that I can upgrade my classes faster, weapons faster. I just need to stop dying. As strong as the burst of course. I can't be relying on the old fire too much. <clears throat> it's ironic because in the actual game, the all fire is actually really bad. Well, the gun in general is really bad. It's worse than the starting pistol, in my opinion, for the lack of ammo you get. Like, I think uh, de by default you get like 60 bullets and that's all you get for your burst rifle. That's what I remember. I think I just might stick with the burst rifle for this. Because you gotta get rid of all these imps and they're a pain in the ass.
Normally I wouldn't be using my flashlight, but unfortunately around pillars, like if I were to go right here, it just tanks my frames. My frame rate counter is showing me like four, three, in the top right. That's how unoptimized the bites are in this game. Oh, that's what killed me last time. Oh, there is chainsaw fuel in there, okay, well that's kind of a bit more worth it. I actually like chainsaw fuel. Because if I ever start running low. I kind of want to upgrade the double barrel shotgun. Because it seems like a necessary weapon to upgrade. But at the same time, I don't know. 294 enemies. Oh man. See this guy. Is that a room? Oh yeah, it is. The runes are crazy good in this mod. It's kind of a, like another. Oh, is that another one? Oh wow, that's huge. Don't even bother with the primary fire unless they're just out of your range. you have with the runes, kind of, is uh, they will actually despawn if you take your time collecting them, so you can't just like strategically sleep them behind. actually important this little computer map and I'll have to come back for that because even though I already have the auto map it will not uh, it will not show me the location of all the enemies that's what that computer area maps for otherwise how do you expect me to do the thing game oh okay. it's a little late though and that's just nothing Still don't have my frags. So I guess I'll just go and grab my computer area map then. Oh, hi, I didn't even notice this. Oh, here we go. I'm up Ship Creek now, once I grab this weapon. Never mind. I forgot the first rifle is so broken. Damage. Oh boy. I understand.
Thank you, quad damage. You saved my life. Barely, but you did. <clears throat> I will praise the armor, though. It acts like a, a perfect shield. That's what all I have uh, simply hard shields or armors as. As long as you have uh, one piece of armor, it'll 100% protect you. Which is my favorite kind of system. I Night vision goggles are actually kind of more of a setback than they help. They already have a flashlight. And the issue with the night vision goggles is I can't see what uh, tier the enemy I'm fighting is. I just noticed that they have a very slight red hue to them. Maybe it's because they have a different palette than the normal enemies? Is that why their color's weird? I have no idea. I don't know. I'm, I'm good game, I don't want it. That's an orange tackle. Yeah. It looks so easy. Ooh, it's like an elemental. Yes, it is. Of course it is. Missed him. I need him to come down so I can get him. Truth be told, I don't. I feel like I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have lived through that. But I did. Yeah, I might upgrade my super shotgun. Actually, I might upgrade my burst rifle too, because it seems like a necessary, or repeater, as they call it. Uh, let's see, Peter. Secondary ammo cost. That might be a good one. So we can get a huge buff to my secondary, but let's see. Uh, yeah, and I'll get piercing as well. Wow, that's that's way faster. I do like this uh, super shotgun sprite though. Original shotgun in this mod seems kind of a little weak, but if you want a really strong weapon, though, the uh, the handgun, especially if you get the red shot, oh, it can just drop enemies. It just happened. I'll wait until I get way more credit build to build up first. Enemy. 
ça. I want the uh, supercharge actually. How do I do the thing? Is there even a switch for it? None of these blue walls does it think any, anything? Two switches? No. They're not switches though. Oh. Well, my shotgun is accurate. What the hell? That's very accurate. I think that's the uh, selling point of the shotgun. Hmm. Neat. Didn't think of it that way. At least my sniffing is uh, went down. My runny nose. I think the allergy meds might be fine and kicking in. Oh damn time though. Uh, apparently there's a demon here, excuse me. Hi. Probably wouldn't have found you. I do want to get a hundred percent though. Because I need to get all the enemy clears. I'd say it's pretty mandatory at this at this rate. Because the amount of credits you can get from a clear hundred percent clearing a map is this. It's such a nice bonus. <laughs> I'm worried though if I go up here, is it gonna teleport me? Oh. Fuck was that garbage game? I pulled it too. I'm not interested in the exit at the moment. Should go back and find some help. One thing I love the about the computer area map is uh, all health is highlighted. shows up on the map anyway. How much do you figure the uh, super shotgun last? Oh, it's 10,000. <laughs> Rip. Double, double, triple, triple. So that basically lets me fire two SSG shots back to back. So that's like the gold upgrade. Or not the gold upgrade, the... Uh, Perfected upgrade or whatever the fuck it is, whatever they call it in Doom 2016. I still want that supercharge though. No idea how they expect me to get it. I'm 
Looks like it's going to be a tel oh, teleport. Oh, I see. Mm. Nice. At least now I have a idea. Let's just go back up there. To gain your zone. And properly explore this area, because I know I missed a lot. Do what I missed though? Hmm. That's a good question. I know I have access to the entire map, but what? Ugh. Rip. That wasn't what I wanted. Static rifle? I feel like dealing with him. I just gonna use that pipe. Oh wow, it takes four chainsaw on him all. Doesn't even hurt, what the heck. I've seen holographic before, but I've never really seen it fool enemies. Yeah. It's never fooled enemies, so what the heck? It's useless. Mind a siphon grenade. Oh, oh. Invincibility. Is there a particular reason why you're giving me that game? I'll be your back.
Ugh. So I made myself some coffee, right? I forgot to drink the coffee. It's probably me all cold now. I see why they're, they're giving it to me. <clears throat> okay, that's a new enemy.
Hi, another invincibility thing. Excuse me. Chances are I'm gonna need it when I go in here, I guess. I won't go again. Absolute madness. Oh, that's a partial invisibility. Oh boy. My favorite. Next one. Twelve thousand, excuse me. Five hundred seventy five enemies, though. Holy crap. them. I'm gonna take a break then. I'll probably continue later on, but right now I want to play some Enter the Engine. Take it easy. <laughs> 